welcome to the south of France. It is the most beautiful day you've ever seen today. And I will show you, but I'm currently hiding in the shade because I'm watching Hannah and David play, what is it even called? I was gonna say football, but it's actually table tennis and both are completely different things, which shows you what a sporty person I am. We have quite a few people with us at the moment. We have my grandma, we have Hannah's friend Isabella as well. We have my cousins coming out. It's been such a fun stay so far, but we have more people coming. It's like a really happening little house. Anyway, I think our plans today uh, chill out in the sun, hang out by the pool. We're going to one of my favorite places for lunch. It's actually very exciting because I don't think my grandma's ever been there. I'm not really sure. I know David's never been there before. And over here by the pool, we have Isabella's nice, gorgeous ass. Good times. <laughs> by the way, how cute is this flower? I stole it from a tree, which I feel kind of guilty about. I'm going to keep it today and maybe tomorrow because I think it looks cute. The visions have come down the stairs ready for lunch. Oh, Giselle. Look at Giselle. How well was it? Ready to go, ready to go to lunch. So the hotel just asked us for a trunk check or a boot check before we drove in. But there's actually nothing in the back of our car. So we got in. Woo! <laughs> We've raced to lunch, so we're way ahead of my parents. And I want to show you guys the beautiful view and the beautiful hotel. This is the view, and that's where we'll be having lunch there. And then that is the gorgeous hotel. Isn't that just such a beautiful little, I mean, I was gonna say pathway, but it's not even a pathway. It's like a grand entrance. We just spent the past like 10 minutes rearranging all the umbrellas before sitting down so that everyone's in the shade. So now we have this like umbrella sky <laughs> surrounding us. So, so beautiful because we are literally on the edge and the sea is just like right there so, and you're kind of raised. So it's literally like you're eating on top of the sea and you can see all the sailboats and stuff going by, which is so nice. We're talking about having stuff in your teeth because me and my mum are famous for having stuff in our teeth and then when anyone says like you have something here, we'll be like this one over here, this one, this one, like never getting the right tooth ever. So everyone always laughs. And Hannah said, what, what did you say? I said, have you ever been on a date and gotten something stuck in your tooth? Or have you ever spat onto your date's plate? Have you realized? I don't know, but like, how do you know you have something stuck in your tooth? You, you get home. Until you go to the bathroom. Yeah, you don't know until you get home, and then you're like, oh snap. In a shiny. You okay? My dad's yeah, so tip is to look. Is... Yeah, to look in a shiny knife. Okay, this knife is covered in olive oil, but I can still see what's in my tooth. Oh, fine. Yeah, see, so you can kind of see what's in your teeth, but then that's not a very nice thing to do on a date. Be like, oh, sorry, let me just check my knife. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't really do that, like, subtly. There's no way to get around it. There's, yeah, basically. You don't order things with finely chopped coriander. <laughs> basically avoid coriander on dates. <laughs> and then hope that your date tells you, actually, can I just say, that on our second date, David, I had lipstick on my teeth and I sat down and you told me and I was oh, so really? embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very helpful. That's quite so nice. That was quite yeah. nice. I was like, oh, that's really what nice. About the chewing gum and I teeth? remember the lipstick, it was Mac Plum Fault to anyone that knows my lipstick obsessions. And I was like, oh my God, never wearing this lipstick ever again. <laughs> Have you ever Behind spat me. and then it landed on someone else? Yes. Yeah. Like, no, not on, on their plate. plate, like on them. Oh my God, that's so That awkward. is worse. I once had, that actually did happen to me and it landed Where's on their sleeve. That's and I was just awkwardly staring at their sleeve and they didn't seem to notice unless so they were being fine. polite. So then do you just like awkwardly try and like flick spat. their sleeve? Or no, like, you oh, it's this. so you great this. to know you. No, I would just be so like, you nice. spat on your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> what a baby. Blame it on them. But then yeah. what if they saw you, but they were just being polite and then you were like, they call you out and you look like a twist. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, actually, that's your spit. Lunch, but we're all so hot. I asked David and my mum to come down to the pier and it was so hot. I'm soulering 
all over the place and uh, I don't even know what a chin sula is but I'm basically sulaing from all sorts of angles <laughs> on my face. It's home time homies. Let's get in this car. Did you just try and sing? Uh, what have I started? We're a little bit late for the cinema or walking around the streets of Monaco. Actually reminds me about when we were here last year. I'll link the vlog on the side of the screen right now if you guys want to watch that. It was so nice! This is actually where we stayed, this hotel right here. Little walking past. Okay, we're late to the cinema. I hope there's still tickets and seats. We're kind of risking it, but uh, okay, let's see. Fingers crossed. Wait, did you Google the outdoor cinema in Monaco or the indoor cinema? The outdoor one. Uh -oh. Can you ask him? He's right there. Speak French. Guys, we've had a bit of a disaster in that I was walking here and I was like where would they put an outdoor cinema in the middle of the town and like on off the main road like surely they need a lot of outdoor space and I think we've come to the indoor cinema which isn't very good because the whole point is that we're going to an outdoor cinema you know so let's see what they're saying hold on uh, okay merci <laughs> meanwhile look how beautiful is this is so, 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 so beautiful. Love it. So we're running back to the car. Hannah and Isabella are walking. We're gonna try and meet them halfway, make it to cinema on time, and hopefully still catch the same film. Woohoo! Open air cinema! We're getting closer. <laughs> it looks kind of dead. No idea where Hannah and Isabella are, but at least we know we're here. Monica, open air cinema. Dun 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 dun. Where is a single person? Guys, we made it. You can't see anything, but we're about to sit down. It was so fun. I loved that film. Now I can show you guys what it's really like. There was the giant screen. Here were all the rows. We sat all the way at the back in the back row and we had it. Still had a really good, great view. You cried. I cried. No, you didn't. I did. I got Which so emotional. Which did you I cry at? Really you... no, when did you cry? <laughs> no, I feel so bad it's for It's fine. Sophie. It hides your burn because of the red I'm light. I'm burn. I'm incredibly tired. I don't know okay, wait. About, when did you cry? Please tell me. When like Sophie and the BFG were sitting on the cliffside and they were at just the showing, end, showing they an were intimate sharing moment. A really sweet yeah. moment. Wow. I really loved that film. It was so good and it was so cool. Outside. I love that. There's um, one in Shoreditch. Is there? Yeah. An open air cinema? Yeah. No, it's and there's like a hot tub cinema in London. A hot tub cinema? Yeah. How unhygienic. <laughs> Has anyone been to the hot tub cinema? Let me know. Let me know what it's like. That sounds quite fun. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys the best bit about the film. I don't want to say this in front of people that paid for the film. Hold on. Let 
me just go to the secret corner. But basically, the film had already started, so the guy let me and David in for free, and then he let Hannah and Isabella in. I'd like to say well. that Hannah yeah. took me on a mountain hike to get here. <laughs> Uh, I genuinely sweated because she took me in some How long did it take you? Like half an hour? It walk. was a half an hour uphill walk. Oh, no. And she's walking around dressed like a scarecrow <laughs> trying to ask locals where this place is. <laughs> Why did she put it on no, her sat down like, like a normal person? She also physically peed herself <laughs> laughing at the situation. So number one, I've now... I'm sweaty and Hannah is sitting in her own dried urine. So it's been a great Stop night. A real winner. I'm dead. What? Because you were just laughing. Yeah. Honestly, it was so embarrassing. David had to go and find Hannah and Belle. And meanwhile, the yeah. film had already started. And then Hannah and Isabella like come, like storming, uh, and like I laughing. Get food and, and I so, drop it. Oh, yeah. So I've interrupted the movie now. About three 45 times. times. home now guys I'm just gonna close the door because it is so I mean the voice is so loud I was just gonna it's so loud that I was like what am I talking about anyway I'm about to wash my face and head to bed hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog I'll be vlogging again while I'm here I think and also I'm going to Italy soon with David and then I'll vlog that as well so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything and I will see you guys soon bye guys <laughs> I'm just myself, 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 I'